your children decided to take a minute and let you know just how much you mean to us. We thought it best to find a way to preserve our thoughts for you. We decided to go in age order from the youngest to oldest, and this is what they chose. Mom and Dad, I have had many years to think of what my life might have been if you two had not made me a part of a forever family. I've read about the lives of the children who spend their childhood in orphanages. Chen and I know firsthand that even the best orphanages can never give a child all the things you gave me. Your whole life was about giving to our family. You gave us so much. But today I want to thank you for the three most important things you gave me. First, you gave me the gift of security. As a child, I knew that whatever happened in my day, even if it was a pesky bratty brother tormenting me, I would always have a mom and dad that would show me unconditional love. I remember the time when I was eight when I packed my little suitcase and I told you I was moving back to China. I remember you telling me, Mom, that you would leave my room the way it was, just in case things didn't work out for me in China. That's all I really wanted to hear. I never made it out the door. I had a home. You gave me a place to belong and a family to belong to. When people who could tell I looked different from my siblings would ask how long I'd been in the family, I remember you telling them, Dad, that God had determined I would be a Morris long before any of us were born. Even when I struggled with my identity as a teenager, you kept reminding me of what is true, that my identity isn't found in the color of my skin or the city where my birth parents lived. You taught me that my true identity is as a child of God. And that's the third gift you gave me. You gave me the gift of a living faith. You made sure we were all in church. You were dead. You were faithful to read the Bible to us. But the loudest sermon I heard growing up was the one both of you preached by the way you walked. I learned what it looks like to believe in God and walk with him every day by watching how you walked with him. I know my siblings were stunned when they found out that their adopted sister was actually your favorite child. <laughs> but I wasn't surprised at all. I knew it was true. So thank you for all the gifts you've given me. Chen and I pray that heritage you've given us will become a mighty legacy that will live for generations through our children and our children's children. I love you, Mom and Dad. Your daughter forever. Well, I originally was going to title mine a uh, tribute from your favorite child, <laughs> but uh, I didn't want to crush faith with the truth. So I ended up calling it, here's to my imperfect but faithful parents from your very imperfect son. In the Bible, the apostle Paul said, I am who I am by the grace of God. And I can say the same, except I have a second part to that phrase. I am who I am by the grace of God and because of the faithfulness of my mom and dad. My parents learned early that their third born was stubborn and strong-willed. Dad, I remember you used to love telling people that when I was a child, I drew a circle around myself and called myself the Lord of the Ring. But we both knew that there was more truth there than either of us wanted to admit. But I think the biggest lesson I learned from you as you tried to redirect all my rambunctious impulses was that in the end, people matter more than things. Relationships matter more than always having to be right. 
and love matters most. And you both taught me that by how you faithfully loved your sometimes hard to love son. So in the end, that will be your legacy. And there could be no greater legacy than a legacy of faithful love. I love you too very much. Your son, Josh. I'm proud of you, son. I know, Dad. Thank you. You make it sound harder than it was. <laughs> Your memory's failing you all. So I decided not to include in my tribute about being the favorite child because, you know, that was our secret. And I know how to keep a secret. <laughs> so Faith and Josh, I am sure you are really the favorite children. My tribute is called My Two Moms and Dads. When I was 15, I got a new mom and dad. My, my old mom and dad, um, they were loving and kind, caring and gentle. My new mom and dad, um, well, they were also loving and kind, but I didn't realize it at the time. I, in fact, didn't care for my uh, new parents all that much. They uh, put new boundaries in place. They said no to things that they normally said yes to. But there was something about this new set of parents. They uh, didn't rattle easy. They had an inner peace. They had new priorities. And they calmly and quietly went about reshaping our family. And in that process, they showed me what it means to live my life in Jesus instead of trying to find a place for Jesus in my life. Mom and Dad, I can't express to you how grateful I am for all the fun times, the love, the memories, and most of all, the model that you showed me how to walk humbly with your God. I love you. Your daughter, Kate. Before we cut the cake, there's something I want to say about it. Uh, we wanted to do something very special for mom and dad. Josh, I realize I'm kind of late here tonight. Like about uh, 30 some odd years late. And Kate said something uh, about tributes when I talked to her last. I guess I probably didn't listen all that carefully to her. It's been an issue uh, of mine over the years, not listening to what other people were telling me. Oh, but I don't want to take the spotlight off where it belongs. I'm mom and dad. Um, I think I remember reading once, hear my son, your father's instructions. and forsake not 
their mother's teaching. Back then, I didn't listen uh, too well to much of anything other than my own perceived intelligence and upperclassmen or my instructors whose approval I was craving at the time. <clears throat> um, I am glad that my own son, Tim, his wife, Elizabeth, are able to be here today. I guess it's about time that they uh, met y'all, and you all met them, uh, especially since Tim has just taken a new job at Fort Mill. And son, I'm glad you're going to finally get a chance to meet your grandmother and grandfather and get to know them. I should have. Years ago, 